Welcome back to the show. Today we are going to discuss AIS, what it is, and do you need it? So the AIS enables ships or other vessels to see you and they can also transmit their data, vessel location, out to whoever is receiving data. So this can be viewed on your MFD if you have it connected through NEMA 2000. Radar screens can pick up this data, you usually see it as a triangle on your radar screen. And what's cool about that is while you're viewing your radar overlaying on your charts, you can see the target and then you can see if it's going to be a, a collision, like if it's yeah. going to cause a collision. Right. You, know, you can kind of see what speed it's you coming at it. you, you can see where it's going. There's different alarms that you can set up um, on the chart plotter that will tell you how close it is to you. And if it comes within a certain range, then it'll start sounding an alarm, which you can adjust that to see if you want it further out or closer in. Um, and also it gives you the vessel information. So you can click on that little triangle and it'll tell you the vessel name. It'll, sometimes it even has a picture of the vessel and will show you the size of it. Shows any, you the heading, shows you info. the exact position. Speed, speed, speed yep. yep. So what's important about AIS is if you send out a DSC call now, all of your AIS data will also be transmitted out. So they know your personal information, they know what size vessel you have, where the real time location of your vessel is, which is crucial in any kind of emergency situation. Yeah. So it's a whole like extra level of safety. Yes. However, it can't be relied upon. No. Because not everybody's using it. So if you're cruising at night or in the fog and you have some AIS targets on your screen, you know to avoid those objects or those ships or boats, but there could be others. There could be happen. others, yeah. yes. So it's just a, an extra layer of protection. Yes. Uh, but it's not, it doesn't solve everything. Yeah. And you can get it, you can get AIS multiple ways. So there are apps that will allow you to have AIS. Um, the marine like traffic. Like on your phone. Yeah, yeah. Like on your phone. So or like an like iPad or whatever. iPad, yeah. You get them on your computer, I'm sure you can get them on the computer. Yeah, you can get it on the computer yeah. too. Yeah. So like the, the marine um, maritime tracking, traffic, maritime traffic marine traffic marine traffic yeah marine, marine traffic website will show you whoever has an AIS and it is enable it, enabled to show their current location um, the cool thing about AIS is most of the transceivers have a go silent mode so if you don't want to transmit your location at all times you can click a switch and so a turn fisherman, it off some yeah. somebody a charter fisherman that may be required to have it but they don't want to broadcast their position yes they can Flip go dark mode, turn it off. It yeah. doesn't mean that you're gonna stop receiving, so you can still receive other targets, they just can't see you. Yeah. And then the AIS is available in a black box form, so you can get a dedicated AIS receiver or transceiver with its own antenna, so it's not connected to any other device. Transceiver or receiver, explain that. So the they do have AIS receiver only, so like Digital Yacht has a couple AIS receivers where you can install the black box and receive other AIS information. Then they have the AIS transceiver, like a Garmin AIS 800, and that will receive and transceive data. Okay, so, so you receive other boats' positions and you- Transceive out your boat send location. Send out your position. Yes. Okay. So other boats can see you. Yes, Got and it. the AIS is programmed with your boat MMSI number. So you have to have that MMSI number registered, which you can do through boatus.com or through the FCC. You get that eight digit number and then that gets programmed into the device. Okay. So what does AI, AIS cost? Uh, the AIS, I mean, it, it really does vary. So like a built-in receiver on a VHF could cost you between four and 600 bucks to add that feature. Okay. A black box AIS transceiver usually starts out anywhere between $600 and could go all the way up to 1500 bucks to two grand. Okay. They have uh, the Vesper Cortex is an all-in-one system. So you get your VHF, your AIS receiver and your AIS transceiver all in one black box, which can also be viewed on the Vesper Cortex app. Okay. So you can see that on your phone, on your chart plotter through NEMA 2000, or through the actual remote mic that they have with the system. Okay, but if you have a phone or an app, that's not a transceiver, that's just a receiver. It's only gonna receive the information from whatever device it's reading from. It's not gonna transmit the phone location. Yeah. Now they do have, um, so Digital Yacht makes a Nomad AIS portable transceiver receiver. So what that does is it's perfect. We have a lot of people 
up north where they're coming in and out of very crowded areas in canoes or kayaks. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll get the Nomad AIS, program their information in it, and then it's portable. Hmm. So they can take it with them, use it on their boat, and then take it, use it on their kayak. Does that use VHF? It's, so you just get one of the portable AIS antennas. Okay. And that's it. All built in. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, that probably is around six to 700 bucks now. Wow. Emily, how do you get the AIS programmed? So most of the black boxes that you get are going to require a dealer to program the device. There's very few out there on the market where you, the actual end user can insert that information because it is so regulated. So when you purchase an AIS transceiver from us, we send you a form to fill out and that will have a couple of details requiring like your personal information, what your MMS sign number is, if you have a call sign, um, and then it's going to ask you for the GPS antenna location. So AIS transceivers have a GPS antenna that gets mounted externally, and that is how it ultimately gets your exact GPS location of where you're located. So we need to know the information behind where that antenna is going to be mounted. So there's going to be different dimensional measurements that we need, which would be like your beam width, what the how far up the antenna is going to be mounted from the bow. How right. So there's four different measurements that we require on the form. And then we go ahead and we hook up the AIS before we ship it to you. We program all of that in there with your boat name, MMSI number, and then a call sign if you have it. We ship it to you and it's ready for use. I gotcha. I always wondered why they required all that extra information on there. But then if you think about a ship, for mm -hmm. example, a ship might be a thousand feet long. So if the antenna is all the way in the back of yeah. the boat, that's going to be a major difference than the antenna being all in the front of the Exactly. So, I don't know if it's that important for recreational boats, like small boats, 50 footers, but uh, it's there. You got yeah. to fill it out and, and, we uh, and, and we'll program it for you. And then if it does, if you if you end up changing, changing ownership or getting onto a boat and it already is programmed with a different MMSI number, most of the time, again, it's not going to be user reprogrammable. So you're going to have to take that AIS out or give us a call and we can come on the boat we have a couple different programs that we have saved and it allows us to remove the old MMSI number and then program the new MMSI number into it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so AIS system, generally the, the hardware you get is the box itself. If it's a standalone black box system, you get the, the, the box itself, which is you know about eight inches by six inches, not, not too big. You can mount them anywhere. And that'll go to 12 volt. It'll also go to your NEMA 2000 network and then it has a GPS antenna that comes with it. Uh, you need to use that GPS antenna that comes with it. You can't use GPS off your NEMA 2000 network. Uh, so just be sure that you install that specific GPS antenna that came with your AIS unit. And then what, you have to have an AIS antenna as well. Yeah, so you would have a separate AIS antenna. Now there are some of the black boxes that have the VHF AIS antenna splitter built into it. If that's the case, you can use your regular VHF antenna split that connection and output through AIS. But most of the black boxes will not have that splitter built in, so it will require a specific designated AIS antenna to be hooked up, which could be your Shakespeare 5225 AIS, or you could use a digital antenna. They do have a couple of the four foot AIS antennas, but most of them are eight foot. Thank you for watching today. We hope you learned something. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and that share button down there get the word out about our videos so uh, everybody can learn about boats like you. Thanks again.